to another video. Today's look is going to be a beautiful burn, smoky orange eye. I absolutely love orange and yet I haven't done many eye looks with that colour. So today is certainly a day for that. The weather hasn't made its mind up. Is it going to be dull and boring or is it going to be lovely and sunny? So I thought I was going to make my own bronzy summery look with my makeup. For foundation today, this is in the shade 10 Ivory and I'm going to be applying it with the damp sponge. I already have my primer on today, I went for the same primer I've been using for a few days, it's the Bare Face Chick Face Primer. This is a mattifying primer, it is really affordable, very cheap on eBay but I actually quite like just how mattifying it is. It's very mattifying but it's not drying on the skin. It's really nice. So I'm going to go to the back of my hand with a single pump of the foundation. And I've already done my eyebrows today. I like to do my eyebrows before I do my foundation so that I can really give myself some clean lines by clearing it up before I do the foundation. And I'm going to start on one side of my face. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Kat. On Friday, I hope you'll all join us at half eight for a live get ready with me. It was going to be super positive, super fun, and it's really just a nice thing to give everybody something to look forward to. You can comment, so you can talk to me through Messenger on YouTube and you can ask me any question you like but I think it's just something nice and it's someone actually getting ready with you I think that's going to be a nice start to the Friday for people and the reason I'm using a damp sponge is because I have hyaluronic acid on my skin I put it onto a damp face, so there's moisture there for it to hold on to. But I find if I then apply my makeup with the damp sponge, it just boosts the hydration up that little bit. And I really like this sponge. This is my Primark sponge that's slowly disintegrating. I don't know why. I don't know if it's something I've done or if it's the product because I have a set of these, a set of two. One's just the normal teardrop, teardrop shape, which is like that, but it's round at the bottom and hits absolutely fine. It's just this one, but the wedge here is just perfect for working around any work like eyebrows that you may have already done. But you can see, because I'm using a damp sponge, it's already given a nice go. And you can see the colour difference, I wear a factor 50 on my face, the rest of me has got slightly sun kissed, so I'm having to match my face to the rest of my body. Something I never thought I would say, because I do not sit in the sun, I do not tan, but this year has been the year that we got a garden bench, or a garden seat. So I took to sitting in that, it has a parasol which keeps the sun off my face and it rocks back and forward. It is absolutely divine. It is so comfy to sit on and because it's got the little parasol you can really keep the sun off your head and face. It's more my legs. My legs have never ever seen the sun. I never wore skirts, dresses or shorts in the summer. I always wore tracksuit bottoms or leggings. I always had my legs covered. So I managed to burn my knees and my ankles and not even just a burn line right between the two, just the knees and the ankles. So that's been fun. And today's look as well for the eyes is just going to be super easy. We're not using makeup tape. It's just 
just going to bring a really, really nice focus and frame around your eyes. And you only need two brushes for this look. A dense brush and a, as fluffy as you can possibly get for blending the edges to it. Did anybody else see that rain? If you're in Scotland, oh, we had an absolute downpour last night. That's everything completely covered. It does take a little while if, like me, you do your eyebrows before you do your foundation. It takes a little bit of getting used to making sure that you're not going over your eyebrows with your foundation. And then if you did get any, you can just tidy it up. Next up. For the eyes, I'm going to set my foundation so that it doesn't crease and I don't get any colour grabbing. I'm using my W7 Flawless Face Colour Correct and Pressed Powder. I'm using a different fluffy brush just so that I don't get any dilution in my eyeshadow colour. So I'm just running my brush in there and then I'm patting it on the eyes. There is slight creasing in the foundation. However, when it comes to putting a setting powder or a pressed powder on to set it, it's going to blend that away anyway. So you don't need to worry too much. So this is solely to stop colour grabbing and to allow it to blend out flawlessly and seamlessly because you don't want patchy pigment where the colour might grab on the bit of foundation. And I'm doing all of this makeup and I have a little fitness class with a group that I'm in. I've mentioned the group before. We are doing a step it up and it just helps you. You do you step to music. You go at your own pace. And I've found that it's made me so much more productive having this step it up than just drinking coffee and throwing my makeup on. I absolutely love it and I can't wait so I wanted to do this first so that I'm not a little sweaty mess when I'm trying to do my makeup. This makeup does withstand sweating and jumping around. Even when you're going haggis hunting, I can definitely say this will stay on your face when you're running about the glens, chasing haggises. Aye, it's quite exhausting takes a lot out of it. And haggis season, it's coming up. So everybody will be heading up north. So long as Miss Sturgeon lets everybody go haggis hunting. Right, now that is set, I'm just going to gently sweep over it to make sure that every bit is covered before I put any eyeshadow on. I'm quite happy with that. So I'm going to go in with a dense brush first. I'm going, I'm using my Maybelline Countdown palette <clears throat> and I'm also using two Primark single shadows. This is in the shade Fired Up and this is in the shade Burnished Copper. These are 90 pence each. The pigment of them is fantastic. They are lovely. They had loads of them, but I was desperately looking for orange eyeshadows. For a base to this eyeshadow, I'm going in with this white colour here out the palette. And this is a really shimmery white. I'm putting that on the centre of my lid. I will be going back over this in the end anyway. Unless it really doesn't need it. But I almost want a halo eye. something really sparkly. I love shimmery sparkle makeup, jewellery, everything. I'm like a magpie. If it's shimmery, I'm having it. For the next shade, I'm changing brush over to my very, very fluffy long brush and I'm going to go into this burnt orange colour on the top of the palette here. I'm going to run my brush through that tap off the excess and I'm just going into the crease with this colour. Don't need to be too careful because we're just blending it out. 
I'm taking it almost to the end point in my eyebrow, just smoking it out. This is just going to help all the other colours blend well. I'm going to put some in my inner crease again. Don't need to be too precise, which is what I really like about these eye looks. You don't have to be too precise. So obviously, normally I use makeup tape if I'm looking for a really, really strong, clean cut eye. But this, and obviously if you felt that you did take your eyeshadow down too far, because we haven't set the actual foundation below the uh, top eyelid, you can go back in and erase any mistakes that you might have made. Or you can simply do this before you put your foundation on and that makes it even easier. I can do it both ways, it just really depends on what we're done in. And just building the colour up in the inner and outer corners of the eyes because that's where we want most of that pigment. But these are just really nice and easy looks. Next up, I'm going to go in with the Fired Up Single Eyeshadow from Primark. I'm going to tap into that, tap off the excess, and I'm just tapping it into the inner corner, tapping it into the outer corner, and again, inner corner, outer corner. You can obviously tone this up, tone it down, whatever you want, and I'm just dragging that colour into the crease just grazing the brow bone, smoking that out and those base colours literally just help blend everything out. And we're mainly focusing these colours on the inner and outer corners of this eye to give that beautiful halo look and again blending it out. And you're just lightly, you're not stabbing your eyes with a brush. You're just doing it really lightly. You don't want too much bend in your bristles. These are very, very, very soft and floppy bristles. It might sound really bad, but it's really not. But you see already the colour that that's building up. For the next colour, I'm going in with the Burnished Copper, another Primark Single Eyeshadow. These are both matte shades and I'm going to take my dense flat top brush and I'm going to dip it in, tap off the excess and this is just for the outer corner but you see how it just deepens that up. We will be blending it out. Bringing it into the crease a little bit. I think oranges are such a beautiful colour. Orange is one of my favourite colours. I think it can be just so appeasing to the eye and bold. Do you see how that just beautifully darkens up that outer corner? And I'm going to take my fluffy brush and I don't want to buff it out too much. I want that pigment to really stay in that outer corner. So I'm just gently blending out the edges. Make sure there's no harsh lines. But these shadows are so beautiful. You get no kickback, you get no fallout, and for 90 pence, these are a fantastic addition to any makeup bag because you can really pick your own shades and make almost your own palette up. So, the next colour, I'm going back into my Maybelline Countdown palette. 
I'm going to be using this brown shade here. I'm going back to my little dense brush. I'm going to sweep off. I'm going to sweep off any excess colour that's left on the brush because I really want this dark brown to really deepen up that outer edge. So into the brown, this shade here, tapping in, padding off the excess, focusing that on the outer corner, slightly dragging it towards the brow, the end of the brow. Did you see how it just really warms it up? And again on the other eye. But these are so versatile oranges, you can really use them in most eye looks. I think brown complements them the best personally. You would be surprised what colours you can match it to. I'm going to blend this out again gently, just buffing out the edges more than anything. And there we go, it's all blended out. I am going to go and put a little bit of eyeliner on. I'm going to curl my lashes, put my mascara on, and we'll come back and finish the rest of the look. Hi guys, and we're back. For eyeliner, I used Double Take Liner Duo from Primark. This is back. For eyeliner, I used on the top lash line the PS Double Take Duo Liner. This is one of my absolute favourite eyeliners for doing a winged look. I didn't really go for much of a winged look today. I wanted mainly that attention to be on the eyeshadow. For my bottom waterline, I used the Rimmel London Exaggerate Waterproof Eyeliner. This... Oh, focus. It's not going to focus. This eyeliner I used for the first time yesterday and it lasted all day. Nothing budged it. It really is waterproof. My eyes can be very, very watery and it didn't move and it stayed this beautiful black pigment. It didn't turn grey. It didn't go patchy. Nothing. Simply beautiful. Next up, I'm going to be doing my contour. For my contour, I'm using my Rimmel London Golden Bronze Sculpting Palette. I'll be using just a middle shade to sculpt out of this palette and I'll be using a different highlighter. For to apply, I'm using my 101 Primark Contour Flathead Brush. This is a great way. I'm going to get my hair out of the way. This is a great way to apply contour. That is super easy to do using this brush. It really makes it so much easier because it's flat and straight. I'm just lightly patting it on the places that I want it. And then the edges of the nose. I have quite a small nose anyway. So to blend it out, this is the wrong brush. To blend it out, I'm using my Moda powder brush. This is a really soft brush. It's the one I grab for most when it comes to needing a brush to blend powder products because it's so soft and it blends really well without disrupting any of the makeup underneath. I'm just looking in the 
there to make sure it's blending out nice and evenly. Lengthen the contour more upwards so that it drags the so it doesn't drag the face down the way. I think a nice bronze look complements a smoky burnt eye. Done with orange. Brown really just brings it out. I'm only going to do a very light blush because I want this look to be more bronzy orange. So for blush I'm using the Primark in the Pink Single Blush. This was £1.50, it's very old, I've had it a very long time. And I'm just tapping that more on the outside of the cheek, just for a little flush of colour. And there we go. So, the only thing that's left to do now is to apply a lipstick and I'm actually going in with a gloss and I've just with the Technique gloss this is in the shade Fabe these are very very shimmery they're very very nice they don't disappear they do slightly dry down but it's just such a beautiful gloss I find technique can be very hit or miss with their products. I've had products like eyeshadow palettes from technique that look amazing. They are stunning and I've used them and I've had next to no pigment and maybe a lot of fallout. However, this was a set that these lip glosses came in and I haven't been disappointed with a single one. But this is the finished look. Now that I can fix my hair. This is today's look, I am super happy with it. As always, another bit of colour, another bit of sparkle and I hope you enjoyed today's video. And please don't forget about my event on Friday and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell. I'd like to say if you do not ring the bell by clicking on it and selecting all notifications, you automatically will get some notifications you won't get them all and then you miss a lot of my videos so please make sure if you are already subscribed that you check the bell notifications and what they're set to but thank you so much for watching today guys it has been an absolute pleasure you are all my divine little people and i love you very much so join me next time leave me a comment down below let me know you've been here and let me know what you think of today's look and i hope to see you again bye guys